Hey, what up, America? It's your boy, Bouchon Glover, with Better Black America TV on YouTube. Now, if you're feeling the intro, this is my boy, Box on the Beats. So I decided to do a reaction uh, to Bill Cosby's uh, getting three to ten years for being his uh, conviction for his rape case. Now, today is Wednesday, September 26, 2018. So my reaction to Bill Cosby's rape case, man, is I have mixed feelings because I was a fan of the Cosby show and I was a fan of Bill Cosby. You know, but there's two sides to every story and you know, the truth lies somewhere in the middle. You know? And uh, I just have Malcolm X's voice in my head and just, uh, you know, in this case, the chickens have come home to roost. You know, because I'm not going to... Uh, I disrespect any women or say what happened or what didn't happen to them because that's not my place to do so. But, you know, you know I, I um, as a man, you know, I, I have my disposition and things that, you know, that, that offends me or it affects me in this case that I'll be a part of the statutes of limitations down the road. But I'm not going to get into that right now. But the reaction, Bill Cosby, three to ten years. Yeah, that's a tough pill to swallow to watch, you know, America's dad being paraded through the town, you know, in shame and, you know, with chains and shackles on him. You know. And as a, a man with some type of, dis, with some discernment, I could claim that, you know, I thought that they could have, out of respect to him, and I know that, you know, you pay the, you do the crime, you got to pay the time, but... Just to watch it with the chains and shackles, man, they rubbed me the wrong way. And then to, to see the press conference, then to see the press conference with the, you know, with the women's group. And it was like, you know, my mother's is happy in heaven right now. And we did it. You know, we did what? OK, this man was publicly lynched. He kind of remind me of when, you know, they used to hang, you know, uh, runaway slaves or, or black men. You know, for reasons just for looking at a woman, you know, or even killing black men for looking at women, Emmett Till. But it just rubbed me the wrong way when I saw this 83-year-old man, you know, walking with the chains, you know, you know, like he was going to run. You know, if I, if I was on duty, I would have let, let Bill just walk out of there with some pride or at least threw, you know, a jacket over his wrist or something or just covered his head, you know. I wouldn't have let the media get those images. And, you know, when you have black attorneys, you know, they, they, they have skills, you know, but when you have black attorneys, you know, they don't really, you know, look at the big picture, you know, because as a, as a brother, which he still is our brother, you know, I, I would have covered him up. They would assume they wouldn't even known Bill Cosby walked out the courtroom, you know, but to walk out with your attorneys and they sit back, you know, their client being publicly shamed and, you know, the women's groups on this end and, you know, out of all due respect, please, no disrespect. You know, I, I, I respect you and, you know, whatever happened, you know, happened. And, you know, he, he, he this is what the end result of the situation is and will be. Not knowing how long he's going to be in jail, but that three to ten, you know, as a threat to society. And, you know, they put like he's a predator, like he's like he's he's still doing it. You know, but it, 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 it's sad to see, you know, um, someone falling from grace. And that's, I guess, my issue, my concern. And then to have that publicity, something, because it's all political, and to allow the cameras and the media to uh, parade him like, you know, he was, you know, and it just brings back things, you know, from my heritage, you know, as black men in the South and slaves and, you know, that public lynching, you know, it just, you know, those images that I would see when, you know, men hanging from trees and then you got, you know, the, 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 the crowd smiling, you know, happy, you know, like this was a good thing. So to have people parading around, this was a good thing. It just didn't sit right in my spirit, you know, but it is what it is. But what motivated this reaction is I saw a post on Instagram and then I, it was inboxed to me as well. And it was a picture of uh, Harvey Weinstein, Matt Lahr, uh, Charlie Sheen, Bill O'Reilly and Donald Trump. And then it had a picture of Bill Cosby. And I'm sure some of you, you have seen that. And it was it said, why is this? Uh, why is Bill Cosby the only one convicted? So my response to that post that Bill Cosby is the only one who was charged 
with rape and was convicted of rape. Now, the Donald Trump situation, now he had some, some video, I mean, uh, some sounds, a sound bite or two about what he used to do, but no one came up and charged him or any, or, or, or to, of any crime. And with the Stormy Daniels uh, little situation, you know, he's like, basically, I'm going to just go ahead and kill the story. You know, let me just get some funds over here to shut her up. That's what big, influential, and powerful people do. They call it, you know, smoke and mirrors. So he was able to shut that down. And the Harvey Weinstein, I mean, he lost his whole company, but he may be the next one on the chopping block uh, for the public lynching uh, due to their sexual uh, misconduct. Because Harvey Weinstein has been accused and uh, he was actually arrested, bailed out, but they do have the uh, him coming in. But he walked out of court, uh, he bailed out. He was never in handcuffs, never um, publicly shamed or anything to that magnitude. But it's, it's, yeah, but this, that will be the next uh, case, the Harvey Weinstein, but for, in regards to, and that's Harvey Weinstein who lost his um, movie production uh, studio, and, and there are some women groups and highly uh, paid women in, you know, that's looking to actually purchase uh, the studio, and Oprah Winfrey's actually one of them. Now, Matt Lahr and Bill O'Reilly, they lost their job because they was accused of misconduct on the workplace. So meaning they basically, uh, from a human resource perspective, was uh, tagged as uh, terminable uh, for their misconduct because in the workplace, there are laws in, in place that make sure that women are protected. You know, so us men, we can't have that, that uh, be in the break room talking about the strip club because somebody could go to human resources and it was offended by what they heard. So the workplace, has broken a lot of um, history and, 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 and jumped over a lot of hurdles from, from a leaps and bounds perspective and has put things into play to where you cannot be harassed in a workplace because all you got to do is blow the whistle and just an accusation is an accusation. So that's why I'm saying in the sense of if there's issues in a workplace, you know, all you got to do is report to human resources uh, it would be a write-up, termination. So we do have to be careful and we do have to respect women. And that's a sad thing. So Matt Lahr from NBC and Bill O'Reilly from uh, Fox News, they lost their jobs uh, due to that. And then Charlie Sheen, uh, different uh, little situation, but Hollywood, secret society, um, Democrat. So he was able to actually um, clear his name um, from that perspective. But you know, this Me Too and Time's Up, it, it's not over. OK, it's not over because who's next? You know, because uh, tomorrow, uh, Justice Kavanaugh will be having his hearing uh, with his accuser who actually uh, accused him in high school um, when, when he was 15. She was 15. I think he was 17 or 18. But this is an accusation, not a charge. This is something to stop him from his growth, to stop him from uh, becoming a Supreme Court justice. And see, this is where. You know, we come in, you know, that's why Better Black America, we're, we're positioning ourselves from a legislative perspective to basically put things into play to where that statute is a limitation. It's just because of an accusation. Um, it's just can't just be believed without vetting. That's why they have they're having the hearing uh, tomorrow. But to come 30 plus years later, you know, and then someone said that he exposed himself to her when he was at Yale University, you know, and. All, every man that I know has, has exposed himself to a woman when he was in college, if he got some head. So before you get some head, you got to expose yourself. So my question was, so, you know, he exposed himself, but what did you do after that? You know, but they have yet to even connect the two. But it, it's a situation where the, the scope has switched. That's why there's room for blacks, you know, and a poor disenfranchised to grow because they chopping the head off of rich and powerful influential people. And when you've got money on that level, it's not even about color, it's about class. Because a lot of these baby boomers, you know, they're, as women, they're having to downsize their homes and, you know, move into, you know, uh, single apartments and, and, and move to retirement homes. And, you know, and a lot of them didn't have careers. So they got divorced, so they're getting alimony and, you know, and, and it's not a good thing. You know, but another layer of, of security is to come up with some accusations because I saw on, on a CNN today, and I'm not going to say her name, 
where the female, a female, uh, was actually crying and so emotional, and she's bringing a civil suit of uh, defamation of character against Bill Cosby's um, law enforcement team because uh, defamation of character because of some things that they said. But this happened in 1974. I was born in 71. You know, I'm 47, so do the math. You know, and she's getting emotional, and all she's doing is just getting things on record. So what I'm saying is there has to be some statutes of limitation put in place because it's going a little too far, but we're going to see how it play out. And usually when things happen like this, it's never what you think it is because we all believed and thought that Hillary Clinton was going to win the 2016 election. But, you know, so it, it's, it's a smokescreen. It's always an, an illusion, you know, so let's not get caught up. So we, we're going to see how it plays out. But in closing... Brother Bill Cosby, man, you know, and I, I couldn't, you know, support him um, personally. I could not support Brother Bill Cosby personally, even though I love the Cosby show. You know, it's it's I just couldn't because I did see the um, episode about his secret sauce. And if you haven't, you know, go ahead and just do your due diligence and just check it out. It's on the Internet. And he made some barbecue sauce and there was some secret sauce. And it was, he gave it to Claire, his wife, and she was getting all, you know, frisky with him. And he was like, oh, you know how Bill Cosby is, the secret sauce. But next thing you know, they're, the sauce that he made for him and his wife so they could go get freaky deaky in the bedroom. Apparently, Bud, Rudy's little boo, got some of it. Because during the scene, Bud was eating the wrong barbecue sauce and said, Dr. Hustle. This, this boy, this show us some good barbecue. And he looked. And the scene, this is a real scene. He actually snatched the barbecue from me, grabbed a, 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 a towel, white bug face off, looked at Clarice, and they walked out and, and clapped. But during the scene, Claire, knowing his history, she laughed candidly, you know, which was so natural because that, that was his thing. And the second one for me to why I can't defend him is when he talked about the Spanish fly on his, uh, his stand-up back in the day. And he talked about the Spanish fly. And as kids, you know, we was trying to get a hold of it. It was a date rape drug, but we didn't know. We was, you know, trying to get girls just to fall fall over us, you know, in a sense. But I'm talking about, I'm 19 years old, listening to older people, but it was that, that Spanish fly. So, you know, a lot of times, you know, you put out signs and symbols, symbols you know, and, and, and it comes out naturally because that's your subconsciousness confessing, you know. But in this case, man, Brother Bill, man, I'm sorry, man. And, you know, I hope you, you know, you're all right. And um, like I said, like my man Malcolm X would say, the chickens has come home to roost. So with that being said, man, that's my reaction to Brother Bill getting a 3 to 10. But if you're feeling these beats, it's my boy, Box on the Beats. Box on the Beats. So with that being said, man, have a great day. It's Better Black America TV. Make sure you subscribe because we're going to keep coming. We're going to keep this comments, uh, uh, um, content coming. And then, you know, you could go ahead and check out my, my, my Lift Chronicles. It's a series. I'm on, uh, on uh, episode two. And I'll probably be dropping number three this weekend because I'll be having some crazy stories, y'all. So with that being said, have a great day. Better Black America TV, YouTube.